Yeah, we got a new show for y'all. Yeah, we got a damn good show. It's gonna be a damn good show. Good show. Yeah. Before we start the show, remember, everybody, you can always support us at officialharshtwins.com. Keep this conservative movement going strong. That's how we pay the bills. Make sure you use discount code Chinese Virus. I give you 20% off. Pick you up a patriotic t shirt or hat today. Yeah. You know why we call it the Chinese virus? Because it comes from China. Yeah, that's the discount code. Fact checkers, can't fact check that. But anyway, that's hey, a fact Jack. <laughs> you sound like Joe Biden. That's a fact, Jack. <laughs> All right. When was it? Sunday? The House of, Rep- uh, the House of Representatives, they yeah. voted for the new House Speaker. And of course, majority of the people in the House of Representatives. Yeah. Or morons. Yeah. They sure. voted for the Pelosi. evil, wicked witch of the West. Yeah, they voted for her. Yeah. And, so uh, sad, man. Yeah, it's really sad, man. So sad, man. When, when I you, think when of you a have... Speaker of the House, I'm thinking of somebody that's neutral and they can actually combine and use their um leadership. Leadership to bring both parties together. Because the yeah. Speaker of the House is so very important. Yeah. If that Speaker of the House is biased and, is, and divisive, you they can she And can't... ripping up speeches in the Yeah, it's the... just it's just it, it's just bad for our government. And when she got yeah. reappointed, I was like, man, I wish we could have somebody, and I, as I speak of how somebody that's a true leader that bring both parties together. Yeah. But she's a, she's a scumbag, I think. Yeah. But anyway, after <clears throat> that vote was done, well, actually before they even got into that, they sent somebody up at it uh, to pray, <laughs> which was surprising. It was actually a Democrat at that. <laughs> right? <laughs> But he what goes, does a Democrat know about God? <laughs> I think y'all know more about pitchfork, uh, pitchforks more than the Bible. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Maybe put on a red tight leather suit with some horns coming out. <laughs> That's what y'all all about. You ain't about no damn God. Uh, yeah, man. So um, that just to give, y'all got to see this video. It's It's just when you think you couldn't see anything more amazing from a Democrat. Yeah. Then it is. They just, they just keep, they kept exceeding the expectations. <laughs> That's why they call them Democrats. <laughs> but check this out. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Dumbass! <laughs> Amen and a woman. That word amen has nothing to do with gender. Just because it has the letters M-E-N in that sequence doesn't mean it has anything to do to, with gender. What does amen mean? It means so be it to agree. With, when you say amen, it's like you agree with what they yeah. just said. It's to validate what somebody just said. Yeah, like if I said, President Trump, greatest president of all, tri- all time. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Chuck Schumer, he's a sucker. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen, Can bro. I get an amen? You got an amen. AOC, she's a bird brain. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Man, I wish there was a church around like that, man. I'd put all kinds of money in that collection plate. I'd be throwing fifties and hundreds in that collection plate. Hey, it has uh, nothing to do with gender. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, man. Hey, uh, I wonder what this dude thinks the word menstruate means. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something only a man goes through? Hey. How about, I got one for you. What? <laughs> how about menopause? Ooh, that's a good one, Emmanuel. <laughs> Is that something a, only a man goes through? That's the type of logic you just used. Yeah. It has nothing that's to... based on your logic, not mine. Do you know Don't what? get all pissed and offended because I'm pointing out how stupid you are. <laughs> hey, men and a woman. You know what's sad? You know what makes this situation all the more tragic and pathetic? <laughs> and what makes this dude look like a dumbass? <laughs> this guy knows his way around the church. Yeah. He's actually a Methodist minister, pastor. He has a degree in theology. He has a college degree in theology. Where did you go to school? Yeah. How did you get your diploma? Did they fax it to you or did they email it to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, went, you had to have gone online. Like, I can see how a person that's ignorant can make this mistake. 
yeah. a person that's not religious, yeah. don't have a degree in theology, don't yeah. know its way around church. The person is not very religious. I could see how that person could make a mistake. Yeah. But how can somebody who's got, got a degree in theology, theology calls himself a preacher, <laughs> a minister, a minister, a pastor, a pastor, make this stupid mistake? Yeah. You know why he made this mistake? Because he's just virtue signaling in front of his minions. Yeah. They don't understand it. See, um, they're that, not going to point out anything. Amen. Oh, look, he said a woman too. Oh man, he cares about women. Yeah. See, that's that's the thing I'm gonna start mentioning every video. Yeah. What what's so wrong about Democrats? They are not objective. They have a narrative to mm -hmm. push, so it makes them sound stupid. Yeah. It makes them look like hypocrites. Yeah. But when you're not objective. Yeah. You're gonna. It, it, it's just horrible because you got it's okay to be a, a, a thinker, but you got to be objective. You can't be biased. This dude is yeah. biased, pushing this narrative. And that's why you say stupid stuff. That's why you yeah. vote for stupid policies. Because you have to stick to a narrative. Your thinking is you. They put your thinking inside of a box. Yeah. You have to stick to that narrative. So that's the best thing you can come with. That's why they make so much mistakes because they have a narrative they have to stick to. Yeah. And they can't go outside that narrative. Yeah. That's why he makes such stupid mistakes like that. And uh, he just uh, talked to the uh, Kansas City Star. I guess it's the newspaper yeah. out there where he at because that's his district. Right. Right. And this is what he said. He told the Kansas City Star his A Woman reference on Sunday was intended to recognize the record number of women serving in the new Congress. There are 144 women serving in the House and Senate. The previous House was 129. But that reference has nothing to do with gender. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. I mean, that's a beautiful thing. We got more women in Congress yeah. than we've ever had. That's a beautiful thing because here on the right, we're about equality too. But yeah. the way you went about it was moronic. <laughs> you are a pastor. You are a man of God. <laughs> you of all people should know what the word amen means. And it's obvious that you don't. You think it has something to do with gender. <laughs> you kind of told on yourself there, uh, Cleaver. It's Cleaver, right? It's not clever, right? No, it can't be clever. It's yeah. Cleaver. It's, yeah, because he ain't too clever. His name is Emmanuel Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> not Emmanuel Clever. <laughs> he kind of told on himself, everybody, because by his own statements, he's acknowledging that there are only two genders. There's man and there's woman. Yeah, that's a good point, because you definitely didn't say a trans. <laughs> hey, you know that's why? what I'm saying. They, they are not objective yeah and if you just let them talk and if you just listen mm -hmm. they they um they're hypocrites yeah they they contradict what they say three minutes ago if you just listen to them mm -hmm. but they're people that constituents they they don't listen they just go by with whatever they go uh they say yeah you know and, and to make things worse the reason why he went with a man and a woman because they want to then following that 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 moronic prayer he just gave they want to do away with words that has to do with anything with gender. Yeah, yeah. This is what then they just do an about face. After he does a man and a woman, yeah. then they they want to move forward using phrases avoiding gender. Yeah, yeah. There's, but he uses gender. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is what's going on in there, right? There's this new proposal. They want to use genderless neutral words. Yeah. That's why he did what he did. So yeah. going forward in Congress, right? I don't know if this has been enacted yet, yeah. but uh, Pelosi brought this proposal mm -hmm. and going forward, they want everybody in the house, Congress, whatever, yeah. to use genderless words. Like they don't want you saying father, mother. They want you to use the word parent. They don't want you saying son, daughter. They want you to say uh, <laughs> your kids. <laughs> <laughs> or sibling. <laughs> or, or like they, you can't say brother. Uh, you got to say sibling or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Anything with gender. But this is right after he said amen and a woman. Yeah. Yeah. This is why would you say amen and a woman? Because see, see what I'm saying? They got a narrative to push. Yeah. And when they keep talking, they contradict themselves. Because that nar narrative doesn't make sense to a just doesn't make sense. Yeah. They it continue may, to make mistakes because yeah. they have to stick to a certain narrative. Yeah. That's why they say the stupidest things. Because they they stop thinking. And they just try to stick. Yeah, to they're that not narrative. even thinking. They know mm -hmm. they gotta stick with the narrative. Yeah, and they're not. They they just <laughs> they just they just robots. dumbasses <laughs> robots. Hey, uh, uh, Cleaver, Mr. Got, Cleaver. Uh, yeah, I got another word for you. 
meningitis. Is that something only a man goes through? <laughs> what is meningitis? It's like some deadly, ain't it? I don't know. I think AOC got it in the brain. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to say yeah. about this whole thing. It's like, man, yeah. I don't see how anybody can support people on the left. I mean, if you just sit and listen and analyze what they say yeah. and how they think. If y'all just look at you people on the left, if you just analyze your um your politicians as much as y'all analyze Trump the and the right on the right, yeah. Y'all will see you on the wrong side. <laughs> You will see that, man, but you don't remain objective. Yeah. I mean, I wish y'all would wake up one day and we could come together as Republicans and conservatives and put all these Democrats out of business because we don't need them. Yeah. This is not important to this country. Yeah. Gender what? going genderless. It's like, I mean, you're disrespecting the people that want that. That's a, You're disrespecting that man who wants to live his life as a woman yeah. and be seen as a woman. Yeah, and you disrespect right? and vice versa. You're disrespecting... That woman that wants to live her life as a man, gender is important to them. But now all of a sudden y'all want to go genderless. I mean, I mean when you have a trans, when you have a woman that wants to live her life, it's the opposite opposite sex. Yeah. Is does this apply to them too? They have yeah. to go with genderless words. They want to be referred to as a man. Yeah, this is just faulty thinking. Yeah, that's why it's, you, it's circular reasoning. It's just yeah. it's it's just it's that's why you have in high schools and colleges you have men living their lives as women, racing women. Right. I mean, it's just bad. It's just horrible logic. That's that kind of logic is what to, uh, led to white supremacy. Mm -hmm. It's just horrible logic. Yeah. It's a different situation, but it's the same stupid logic. Yeah. If we could just drop drop race, I mean, if you want to go, I can understand going away from race. Yeah, what I'm talking well, going away from gender. I'm like, y'all want to go genderless, but you don't want to go raceless. No, but see, if they go raceless, yeah, that they, they lose that. They lose that because uh, they. How how many black people you think ran to the poll and voted for Biden because they think Trump is a uh, a uh, white supremacist? You know yeah. why they think that? Because the Democrats labeled him as such. Yeah, they would never want this society to go racist because they would lose. <laughs> they would lose. Yeah, yeah. People that, say. People start catching on, man. Hey, Trump's he's he's pretty cool. This guy with body, he has yeah. really nothing cool to say. <laughs> yeah, he's just it's like I think sometimes, man, these Democrats, these Democrats, man. I mean, I'm I'm not saying everybody's perfect on the right now, but they are a whole lot better than people on the left. It mm -hmm. feels like to me, man, when they behind closed doors, when they have meeting and just the Democrats, they come up with these horrible ideas. They come up with these evil plans, man. And yeah. then at the end of the meeting, they come, you know, they just start with that evil laugh, like. <laughs> Man, you look demonic as hell. <laughs> That's how the Democrats be looking. They be in the they be in the room with just the Democrats in them. Yeah. They throw everybody out. Yeah. Like they did in Atlanta when they was counting them votes. <laughs> they threw out the, all the Republicans yeah. and start yeah. doing the counting. Yeah. When it's just them, yeah. they're not talking come up to these evil ideas. To divide this country. To divide this country and they start laughing like that together. <laughs> <laughs> that was a damn good show. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.